Hey everyone, my name is Chloe and today I'm here to talk about my most anticipated reads for April. So you guys know that like springtime is like prime publishing time. There is a lot coming out and I just love like looking up what's coming out and telling you guys about it and seeing what you're excited about and what I inevitably miss. And um, so let's just get into it. If you guys hear background noise, we have had the week from heck. We, um, one daughter was diagnosed with strep on Tuesday. The other one was fine until Friday. Um, and it, my three year, almost three year old was the one who was diagnosed on Friday and she had a lot of GI issues. And so, um, she threw up everywhere at urgent care, including like all over me. And so I left urgent care in a camisole and pants that had puke all over them and a bag full of clothes. And I had to throw away my purse because every nook and cranny had throw up in it. And it's just been a nightmare. And then now my husband is at urgent care because he thinks he's got it. It is Sunday and he thinks he's got it. So um, all three kids are right here. So if you hear noise or if there's some pauses, please forgive me because we are just trying to keep our heads above water this week. We have not been healthy for like six weeks. They, they just keep passing stuff back and forth. So tis the season. But let's get into these April anticipated releases. So these are books that I'm excited for, not necessarily that I'm going to read right away. And the dates that I'm giving are the dates as of now. They can change. So just be mindful of that. And um, yeah, let's get into it. So on April 4th, there's the Lonely Hearts Book Club by Lucy Gilmore. And this is about a librarian and like this old curmudgeon that always comes in until one day he doesn't. And so she goes to check on him and like to make him feel better, she starts a book club and it just seems so sweet. It's their miss, like a bunch of misfits that come together to have friendship and um, just sounds really good and like bookish and awesome. I love, I love it. Next is After He's Gone by Catherine Bolger Hyde. Um, and this, the little blurb is, I know my husband's dead. I just don't know if I killed him. And so unreliable, unreliable narrator, I don't, I don't love, but that, that sounds really intriguing. And like, she just has no memory of things. And so, um, it sounds really good. I'm really intrigued. Next is Romantic Comedy by Curtis, uh, St Sittenfield, Sittenfeld, Sittenfeld. I don't know. Um, I think he's written another book and, um, this is about a, like an, a Saturday Night Live, like SNL star or host or something and a pop star. And, um, I think it's just a lot of commentary on like romantic commentary or uh, romantic comedies. And, um, I don't know. I've heard good things about him as an author, so I figure we'll try. Next is School Trip by Jerry Craft, and this is the third in the um, New Kids series. It, it is middle grade graphic novels, and number one and two were my very favorite. Like, they were, they're so good. And so this one is about a school trip to Paris, I think, and I just, like, I love this series, and I love these characters, and I can't wait to see what's next up for them. Um, next is The Soulmate by Sally Hepworth. So this, I think, has already been released in Australia like a while ago, but in the U.S. it comes out on April 4th. And this is about um, a couple that gets this, like, co coastal cottage, but it's a place where people come to, like, commit suicide. And that's weird. We don't know why. And, um, or I don't know why. I, maybe they do. I don't know. But And so every night or day or whatever, the husband kind of literally talks them talks people off the ledge until somebody, he doesn't, and we find out it's somebody he knew. So was it on purpose? Did she actually jump? Was she pushed? I don't know. I love Sally Hepworth, and this sounds really intriguing. So next is April 5th, The Assistant by Amanda Reynolds. And this is about an assistant with sinister plans. That's all I really need to know. I don't want to know a whole lot more. It sounds good, and it's sound like it sounds intriguing because you trust somebody and like that person is intimate in your life and what what happens when they have sinister plans we'll see um next is april 11th the only survivors by megan miranda so megan miranda is one of those authors right now anyway that i like keep wanting to pick up her books despite the fact that i haven't loved them and so this one is about a group of friends that come together at the like 10 year anniversary of some sort of tragedy and then the survivors, I think, start disappearing, and it, like, brings up questions about the original situation and this one. So, um, it sounds really interesting, and, like, I want to love it. So, let's hope I do. 
Next is April 18th, The Vacation Wars by Megan Quinn. So this one, it sounds so good. It's set in Santorini, Greece, which is somewhere that I have been to Greece, but not Santorini. And I wish I would have because it just looks like bliss. Um, but this book is about a couple who I think that, uh, or no, I'm sorry. This is about, um, she goes to her family's vacation home, like before her sister's wedding and in, in high school or something, I think she made some sort of deal that she would be like, she would fall in love before her sister did. And so she, since she hasn't, she's like on this quest to find love. And I think they, her family like vacationed at this home regularly. So she runs into this guy that works, um, somewhere in Santorini that she knew from childhood and they strike up a thing I don't know um Megan Quinn is like really good really good at the rom-com the line of steaminess is sometimes too much for me so um I'll probably wait to see some reviews and see kind of how steamy this one gets if it's for me or not but I love her style of writing Next is also on April 18th, Where Are the Children Now by Mary Higgins Clark. So Where Are the Children is a story about a woman who um, I think her kids are like her two kids are abducted and then um, she has more kids and they're abducted too. And like we're trying to figure out why um, like within she has a new husband, whatever. Well, now we are following the kids that were abducted as adults and she, the little girl is now an adult and she is a widow and her husband's daughter. So her stepdaughter goes missing. And so sounds interesting. So like I, I really like the first one. So we'll see. Um, next is Saturday night at Lakeside Supper Club by J. Ryan Straddle. Um, so this is interesting concept. The husband and wife both are heirs to different restaurant chains and hers is kind of struggling and she's got like a, a struggling um, relationship with her mom because if she inherited the restaurant from her grandma and it skipped her mom. So there's that relationship dynamic going on. I think his is doing better, but he's kind of having a midlife crisis and it says a Midwestern story of love, marriage, and um what our legacy will be and thinking about that. And so, I don't know. It sounds interesting. Next is 12 Hours in Manhattan by Mon Gabriel, maybe. Um, and this is about a girl who meets a K-drama star in a bar in Manhattan. And they spend 12 hours completely, like, detached from their normal life doing things together. And um, it sounds, like, interesting. A lot can happen in 12 hours. And when you have, like, I don't know what her life is, but when he's a K-pop star... Or K drama star, I can't remember. Um, and he's able to somehow step away from that and be like anonymous. It would be interesting to me to see like what he does. So next is um, Life in Five Senses How Exploring the Senses Got Me Out of My Head and Into the World by Gretchen Rubin. So Gretchen Rubin is like well known for her happiness project. And um, she just like she has a podcast and she has so many books. I just read one about like outer order, inner calm, or whatever. Um, she just has a lot of like really like self-helpy books and I love her style. I really love the way she talks about things and makes it really relatable and really practical. And so, um, maybe t tuning into my senses is where I need to go next. So we'll see. Next is The Golden Doves by Martha Hall Kelly. So Martha Hall Kelly wrote The Lilac Girls, and I really liked that book. It's a World War II book about three different women, all with different perspectives on World War II. Um, one's a doctor, you know, I mean, whatever. This one is about, um, it's, it's inspired by true events, and it's about two women who were former uh, spies. I think they worked for the French Resistance or something. And now World War II is over. Oh, no, they're American and Parisian, I wrote. Um, and now they are trying to hunt down a Nazi doctor that is after World War II. And he, I think they're trying to get revenge of some sort. It sounds really good. I trust Martha Hall Kelly, so I'm excited. <laughs> so we're going to do the rest with a little head right here but um, and hope it works. Next is on April 20th, The Lie by Catherine Croft. So this is um, a son that walks, uh, a, a, well, yes, it's told from the mother, I think. And the, her son walks his girlfriend home, and then his girlfriend goes missing. And so she really wants to protect her son, one, just to protect her son. But also she doesn't want the cops, like, creeping around because she has a secret. And they, as a family, maybe have a past. And it sounds really good. And the lie um, is interesting. What What's the lie? I want to know. Next is April 25th with My Little Eye by Jocelyn Jackson. So I have liked Jocelyn Jackson in the past. And she does both. Like, like I think lately all she's done is thrillers. She has done women's fiction kind of in the past. And this is about an actress mom and uh, her daughter that move across the country to escape a stalker. But he's still there. 
That's all I need to know. I don't think we know who's stalking them. Um, is it someone they know? Is it someone they don't? I don't know. Next is Happy Place by Emily Henry. So everybody and their mother is probably anticipating this book because Emily Henry is a well-known author, and she does great um, kind of romantic comedies. And this one is Fake Dating Between Exes. They have not told their friends that they broke up, and so they're going on vacation with their friends, and they have to fake date. And it sounds so cute. I love People We Meet on Vacation by her, and it kind of gives me the same vibes. Maybe not, but we'll see. Next is You Shouldn't Have Come Here by Geneva Rose. So this is another thriller. Um, This is about a New Yorker who books an Airbnb in Wyoming and just to get out. And so she gets there and there's a guy named Calvin that's running the thing. And he seems really nice, but something about the town's a little sketchy. And then Calvin becomes kind of obsessed with her as she's trying to leave and she can't get out. So I don't know. Sounds good. I, it says it's dual POV too, so that could be good. Uh, next is We Love to Entertain by Sarah Strohmeyer. And this one's like a Chip and Joanna Gaines-esque uh, couple. And they get married and then they go missing. And their assistant is a suspect. And so the assistant and her mother are trying to prove the innocence of the assistant. And um, I don't really know why. I don't know if she actually is innocent or guilty or what. So we'll see. Um, Next is The Last Word by Taylor Adams. So Taylor Adams wrote No Exit, loved it, you know. This is a girl, about a girl who writes a, like, one-star review of a horror book. And then the horror author, like, comes after her. And it kind of brings the question of, like, to be a horror author and have all these terrible thoughts in your head, like, what's going on in your head? (laughs) Like, I don't know. I've always wondered, like, how do people come up with that stuff? Because it is, like... Um, and then last is Only Love Can Hurt Like This by by Page Tune. So Page Tune is an author that I really like for like good chick lit. Sometimes it's emotional, sometimes it's not. But um, this one has a me before you comparison, which I hate when they do that because it gives away like a lot if you've read me before you. But this is about a girl who finds out her fiance is cheating and then a guy who is a widower. They meet and um, I think he at, they meet at like a farm in Indiana and then he's got secrets. And so I'm guessing I know what the secrets are based on that but Paige Toon I love her I trust her so we'll see so those are all the books I am anticipating for April what about you what are you looking forward to what did I miss I know there were some that I that I intentionally left off because I just am not into the author or whatever so um but what are you excited about let me know uh, of this list too what are you most excited about that I just talked about so um thank you so much for watching and hanging in here with us we will see you in the next one